hello it's Sarah and today's video is my share on this little project I I've been making lots of these you guys this is a piece by Erica Joanne art called just be and it is something that I'm trying to work on in my life um, I don't have to do all the time I just have to be sit quietly and just be so B skeps are on my radar all the time. I'm constantly, look, Tracy Morrell, just B. So it's kind of, I don't know, I try to say these are God winks. It's my higher power kind of pushing me to acknowledge things about myself. But anywho, kind of a new technique for me too. Um, doing washes and then using pencil, colored pencil. And I've been using... The Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. So let me show you what I've done. This is, I think she gives you two different sizes in here. And I ended up shrinking it down a little. So you get, I want to say this is 5 by 7, but it looks bigger. So it's probably like 6 by something. 6 by 8. So you get a 6 by 8, which I'm going to have to do it. Because she's just gorgeous. And I'm getting better as I go, I think. And that being said, there's always a learning curve when I try something new. So this is just a frame that I had around the house. I took the picture out and I put her in here. But it doesn't have the word. So I was thinking of having Joe make me frames. We'll see if he could put just be kind of carved into the wood around it. And then what I'm loving about this is it's done on paper. So let me set this. Set this she lives in my room. She's kind of been hanging out with me in my room but I've done two other ones so this is watercolor paper 160 pound I believe um, this this is what I bought 140 I'm sorry 140 pound I used what I had for the most part but I did just buy this 140 pound watercolor paper then I started watching some pencil videos and they started talking about Bristol and I know I have Bristol here somewhere and I haven't been able to find it. But what I've done is I've definitely tried to make sure that I'm using the smoother side. So this one, you can tell. I did this one on the bumpy side. Because you can see the bumpiness. Like when I use the pencil, it leaves kind of holes, you know. You can tell the texture of the paper, in other words. All over the place, wherever I shaded with pencil. It kind of has a cross-hatching effect, which I don't mind because I'm just playing. This is me playing. I'm just having fun. But on this one, I used the smoother. Either it's not the 140 or I found a piece of Bristol or I don't know, but it was much smoother. Um, also, I changed the color of the dress to um, accommodate the pencil color that I had. I didn't have the same color green pencil that she suggested using, so you can tell a little bit. I just bumped up this, oops, see how this is a kind of a calmer color and this is a little more bright. I thought this pencil matched it better. Uh, the other thing I, I don't have, I'm using my bottles. I'm using my acrylic paints that I have and I just basically found colors that I thought matched the ones that she was using close enough, you know. Um, and I love it. I'm in love with her. She's just delightful. She makes me happy. I'm getting the hang of it. It's a simple process. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing right now is, I'm sorry, I had to put that down. So I made it into a four by six because I found these at Walmart. I think these were like, it was like a two pack for three dollars or something. So they're just cheesy little frames. You just push that you push the glass back into place and I thought I can give these as gifts with a little frame you know but I did put a spot at the bottom for just B so I, I kind of shrunk it down I think I shrunk on my just on my printer um, I put it on the scan part and I went down to 80 percent like I reduced the 5 by 7 size by 80 percent I think that's what I did and it came out this size and then I just traced it onto the paper 
and I made my own J and my I just made my own I think I wrote the letters it's not the same size right here this is what her letters looked like I just made it you know it says just B anywho so this is what I'm doing this is called uh, paint and pencil this is what she calls it paint and pencil I'm pretty sure so what you do is you get your tracing on there so this is all traced already this time and I hadn't done this previously I went because I was just doodling last night like I just went around the outside of everything with the pencils first which I've not done that yet on any of them and now I'm doing the washes so I've just done the blue so I'm gonna come in and show you what the wash is like it's like a so here's my puddle of paint and then I just go into my water and I, I just put it all down and just made a puddle so I think a wash and this is I'm not a professional this is what I was doing when I was doing those pieces by Barb Nielsen remember the eggs these guys she painted these with washes and then she inked over everything I think she shaded it with paint that's right and then she inked everything with that like uh, very fine tip permanent ink so this is like the next the next step in t toward washes that mm -hmm. I'm doing so anyway let's see what I come up with so I don't want too much water on my brush this is watercolor paper but I think it's the smooth side so I'm going to load it and you just, I could probably cover this whole thing with one load of the brush, see, because it's just very wet. You want it to be um, transparent. I guess I would say translucent because there is color, it's not clear, but look how far the color goes. I'm using a flat brush because I just have, I feel like it, I get more control and I get less puddles than if I use, up. Oh, but I'm going back in. My brush started to dry up, so I just want to, you got to keep it moving, kind of move fast. Because if, wherever you leave, I am not proficient at watercolor at all. I have never taken a class it's a mystery to me because I I'd like to find a class or a teacher that could explain it to me I'm a very visual learner and um, sorry my voice as soon as I start doing this I start to get Zen <laughs> I get so peaceful so there it is it's just a light coverage like you know translucent coverage and you do all the shading with the pencils. So I'll show you that. I'm just gonna do this green while I have it because it's really just a couple leaves and the dress and I think that's it. That's why I like this piece too. It only has like five colors to it. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna show you, how I've been doing the pencil. Now, I watched a few videos. I did do the, the videos by Erica Joanne with these patterns. Remember, I think this might have been in one of my last videos that I did. These pinwheel block. This is a pinwheel block. The strawberry block. And then there's a B. The B block. There's going to be nine, I think. Maybe twelve. I forget. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm I always forget that I'm zoomed in. So there is some instruction, but there's no like real instruction other than what she tells you in the written directions. I like to see someone doing it. I'm, anyway, I'm just winging it really is what I'm doing. I want to see if they're both the same. Yeah, true blue. Um, I got a new sharpener. This is an awesome sharpener. Jarlin, 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 with an arrow down, Amazon, but watch, it's really good, anyhow, what I've seen is you, 
when you start you want to hold the pencil back far so you're not putting a lot of pressure so that you keep your sheet because you can you can always build up the color build up the strength of the color you can't really get it off which I've been erasing it and it's been working like I think I did her face shading way too dark and I erased it I was able to erase it and it looks fine so I've been playing that's what I'm really doing is just I keep repeating the same thing but I'm playing with it so let me just start here it's hard I, I need to choke up on the pencil a little but I'm just gonna start just gently you want to flick outward I push a little harder toward the where our ponytail begins. Let me come in. You can't even tell that probably. Uh, you can see it a little from far away. But like she has these really dark like on the tips and then she'll add black or brown to your shading too. But I, I am really barely pressing right now and this is the lightest that I've been because depending on my mood <laughs> you know I'm very forceful you know so I'm being very conscious I'm literally just barely touching but it's fun look it's shaded I mean you can't really see it that much I'm being so gentle right now so I'm keeping it very close to the top then I'll start flicking downward See? It's fun. It's fun. I'm really, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So like for this leaf, he's kind of tucked behind, whoop, tucked behind the other one. So I'm really going to darken this area. I'll put a line around it. Because it would be dark, it would be shadow, you know. Babe, I'm filming. Yep. I mean, that looks good. And then it would be in here. Definitely because this is like tucked behind too. It's always darkest in those areas. And then you just lighten up as you go out. And this has been literally like over the last week I've been making these I have the one in the frame two three four this is my fourth one they all look different like look they're not perfect but I think the color her choice of colors just makes me really happy so that's why I just keep doing it um, but like look at her hair I don't know. I mean, it looks shaded, but this one's looking really good compared to those. So I'm just, I'm, I think I'm getting better, you know. I'm learning how far to take it out, like really how far do I need to have shading. I don't even think she has it on her piece look like she gives you a little direction where to shade there's like a shaded a shading guide I'll show you so right here you get the shading guide which is amazing thank you Erica Joanne so see she doesn't really have it around the flower so I kind of did that myself and this is what I mean by erasing I just take this eraser which is like a mono zero elastomer eraser by Tombow and I'll just try to erase this a little it erases it kind of blends too I don't know like I'm just getting used to it so yeah so here's like she has you th this is like her part I think so I've been trying to like You can already tell that I'm getting darker. You really have to just be light, like not pressure light, you know what I mean? Anywho, I don't even use the guide that much. I'm just playing and I think it looks fine. It's not 
you know, it's just for me to play. So I'm not really being so critical. Ooh, I'm doing that book called The Artist Way. I think I want to do a review of it on my channel. Um, we're on chapter seven already, and I am learning a lot about me as an artist. It's been really good. So I don't know any of you put in the comments if you've read or done any of the workshops uh, with Julia Cameron. Um, she does workshops. This book has been in published published since like. Pfft, I don't know if it's like in from the 80s or the 90s. I don't even know. Like oh, a long time ago. Anyway, it's really good. It's about what we say to ourselves when we create, but taking risks and not being a perfectionist and I'm I'm a good enough. I've always said that. So like I'm kind of lucky in that way because I beat myself up in so many other areas of my life. This is just not one that I beat myself up in. I can just play. I can just, like, I don't know. I don't, and you know what it might be? Because I'm doing someone else's design, I don't have the pressure. You know, like, if I was designing this, I think I, I would be much harder on myself. So there, there might be some of that involved in it. Anywho, it's good. I'm going to, I'll do a review of it after maybe after I'm done or I'm halfway done maybe I could do a halfway and then all the way done um, there's a few other reviews on YouTube anywho I'm like in a zone right now I'm gonna end the video I just wanted to share with you guys um, super simple and I also think that she sells and I might want to order them these little um, watercolor paper books like that her and her daughter put together with themes like one's uh, I think a sea life theme one's a flower theme and they're just pages with printouts of so it's already got the printout of the design on it and then you can paint and pencil your own pages I think I want to order it like it's an on the go maybe four by four and I think the pages are perforated so I might do that because it is a handy way to just meditate for me it's meditation um, to be in that zone that kind of quiet place um, so I'll bring her up here she's super cute I'll put the link in the in the description box and you guys take some time to just be today all right thanks for watching